Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at entropy calculations. So essentially what I'm going to just do is sort of demonstrate the idea of entropy and information and so on as it relates to probability. Suppose that we have a five letter or source alphabet with M equal to five. So essentially what, suppose we have an alphabet based on these five symbols here. So in each of the following examples, we adjust the probabilities for each symbol, okay? And so we compute the information for each symbol, which is I of X, I, and then hence we compute the entropy H of X, okay? So essentially what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you the probabilities for each symbol in each of the case, each of the seven cases. What we'll do then is compute the, ent the information for that, which is simply minus a log to the base two of the probability, okay? I'm gonna stick with to the base two for this set of videos here. There are actually, it's plausible to work on the basis of other units, but I'll just stick with base two for the sake of simplicity. And also what we'll do then is we will multiply those out to compute the entropy, okay? Which is the information times the probability for each symbol, okay? And sum them all up. So, uh, I have seven of these. I'll go through them fairly quickly. But, so here are my five symbols, okay? And here is the relative probability of each symbol. Now, what I'm gonna do really is actually just D, uh, sort of spread them around a bit, probabilities out a bit. So, but just in this starting video, what I'm gonna sort of say is that 99% of the time, the signal sends symbol A. Okay, so we expect A 99% of the time, and then the other four symbols will just pop up periodically, okay? So this means that if A has high probability, it has low information, okay? Because it just, if we say, see it all the time, it doesn't really tell us anything. It's sort of when we see the other symbols that we are more curious. So essentially you should sort of work this out in your calculator and uh, calculate minus log to the base two of 0 0.005 and you should get uh, 7.6439 and so on. 8.96, 8.96, 9.96, .96, okay? Then what we will do now is we're gonna calculate the entropy. So what I'm gonna do here is multiply each of these out, okay? and so on, and we get these numbers over here, and we add them all up. And in this case, the entropy is 0 0.0984 bits per symbol, okay. So 99% 90, 90 of the time, symbol A is transmitted. So there's not a lot of entropy, there's not a lot of information really being sent across, okay. It's just Periodically, we'll get the other four symbols, but most of the time it's A. So what I'm gonna do actually is to sort of increase the relative proportions of uh, the other symbols in each case. So what I'm gonna do in this case is, it's still mostly A, but instead of 99% of the time, it's 90% of the time, okay? And that means 5% of the time we get B, 2% of the time we get C, 2% of the time we get D, and 1% of the time we get E. And again, what we'll do here is calculate our, the, informa the information corresponding to each of the symbols there, which is minus log to the base two of the probability. So it's just a bit of calculator work. 0 0.15, 4.32, 5.64, 5.64, 6.64, those numbers there. And then what we do there is multiply the probability times the information out. 0 0.1368 and so on. And then we get our entropy down here. Uh, that's just, this one over here is just to clarify that the probabilities add up to one. So it's not, con it's not connected with this number here. So in this case, the entropy is the, uh, the sum of the probabilities times the information, 0 0.6451, okay? So this time the, uh, there's more entropy Okay, just compare it back to what we had previously, if that's in shot there. That's the in the previous example where it's 99% A, 
now it's just 90% A. So it goes up from 0 0.09 to 0 0.6451. So slightly higher information content, essentially. Okay. So I'm going to skip through these fairly quickly. Now it's 80% of the time with 10% for B, 5% for C, 3% for D, and 2% for E. And again, what we do is we calculate the corresponding informations, okay, values, and then we add them up. Uh, multiply the probabilities times the, times the information, and then we add them up. So in this third case, we get 1.0705. So that's increasing again. Okay, so 80% of the time the symbol A is transmitted, but again, other symbols are more common in this example. So the entropy is going up to 1.0705. Okay, now we're going to continue on with a few more examples. Here, I'm just going to sort of say 65% for uh, A, symbol A, 11%, 10%, 8%, and 6% for B, C, D, and E. Again, information at times the probability. Uh, and we add them up, okay, and in this case we get 1.6215 for this example here. So again, uh, the more spread out the possible symbols are, here it's a bit more unlikely uh, that you'd be able to predict uh, the next symbol, so to speak. And we get 1.6215 in that case. So 5. Again, 40%, 25%, 15%, 12%, and uh, 8%. And working it out, we would get the entropy to be 2.0979 uh, bits per symbol. Okay. So, again, I don't, uh, in this case, 30%, 25%, 20%, 30%, 13%, and 12%. And working that out we should get an entropy of 3.3252 which is almost the most maximal level okay it's not exactly actually i shouldn't say that but it's essentially in this case a b c d e you know it's essentially there's a sort of quite a diverse set of symbols would be coming at us if we were to read this uh, signal okay so this is the maximum possible, this is the ultimate level of entropy, the maximum level of entropy. Okay. And remark, where M is the number of symbols in the source alphabet, log 2 to the base M, or log of M to the base 2 is log of 2 to the base 5, and that is 2.3219. Okay. So in each case, each symbol is equally likely, 0.2. That means in each case, the information is equally the same, uh, 2.3219. Uh, we'll just work it out the same way as we've done before. The probability times the information is 0 0.4644. And when we add those up for the five symbols, we get 2.3219. And you notice that's that number there as well. Again, that's not a coincidence, but I'll just sort of be consistent with what I've done before. Anyway. So with each symbol, well, each symbol is equally probable. We can sort of say that the entropy is log of the log of the base two of m, where m is the number of symbols. Okay, so that's the maximum possible entropy level. Okay. So yeah, that's it. We'll leave that there.